Oh, I'm excited, but I'm nervous because I don't know any of her other friends. Oh, I get that feeling when you're kind of half excited and half anxious and nervous. <laughs> Horrible feelings. Yeah, it's falling my day. Yeah, I know that. Now, there is a story in the Bible that Faith Bear's got for us today about somebody who felt exactly how you're feeling. Really? Yeah. Whoa. I think it's going to really help you. I need to hear it. I think so. Let's go to Faith Bear and hear it. Over to Faith Bear. Hello, Faith Bear. What window is the story through today? Is it the square window? The circle window? Or is it the arched window? Oh, the arched window. children, I'm Becky and I'm here with our giant Horace today to read you a story. Did you know that God loves us every day, even when we have sad days or happy days or days when we feel sick or any other sort of day, God still loves us. Today's story is about a man whose every day was a bad day and his name was Zacchaeus. His job was collecting money from people, but he would always collect too much money and keep all the extra for himself. And because Zacchaeus did this, nobody liked him. One day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to his town. Zacchaeus was really excited, but also a little bit scared. He was excited that he would get to see Jesus and that Jesus could see him, but he was scared knowing that he was going to have to stand alongside all the people that didn't like him at all. Zacchaeus had an idea. I know, he said, I'll secretly climb a really big tree down the path and then I can see Jesus and no one will be able to see me. When Jesus came to town, Zacchaeus was watching, still very excited and still a little bit scared. Suddenly, Jesus headed straight to the tree where he was hiding. Jesus stopped under the tree and looked up at Zacchaeus. Hello, Zacchaeus, Jesus said. I want to come to your house for tea. Everybody was shocked. Why would Jesus want to spend time with a man who takes more money from us than he should, they said. As Jesus entered Zacchaeus' house, the people began to moan. It's just not fair, they said to each other. After a while, the door to Zacchaeus' house burst open and there stood Zacchaeus with a big smile on his face. Today is a special day, he announced. I've been talking with my friend Jesus and there are a few things I must change. I know that I have taken too much money from you all and I am so sorry for that. The people looked at each other. They were shocked. I am going to pay you all back four times more than what I took from you. The people looked at each other and they were now amazed. Zacchaeus carried on. I'm also going to sell half of what I own and give the money to the poor. Wow, the people were flabbergasted. Then Jesus came out of the house and he said to the people, I told Zacchaeus that God still loves him and now Zacchaeus loves God too. Wow, what a story. What a special day that was for Zacchaeus. I think that every day after that was a special day for Zacchaeus, knowing that God was with him. And did you know that God is with you every day too, no matter how you might be feeling? Okay, we're going to say goodbye now, Horace. See you again soon. Bye. Because I can't play outside in the sun. <laughs>
But it says in the Bible, this is the day that God has made. Let's rejoice and be happy today. Psalms 118, 24. What does that even mean? It means that each new day is a gift from God. Why don't we go get our wool clothes on and play in the rain? <gasps> yeah, it'll be so fun. Knock, yeah. knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes the day God has made. Let's rejoice and be happy today. <laughs> Psalm 118. 24. <laughs> this is the day God has made. Let's rejoice and be happy today. Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day God has made. Let's rejoice and be happy today. Psalm 118, verse 24. This is the day that God has made. Let's rejoice and be happy today. Psalm 
you and me, me and you. You and me, me and you, you and me. Wow, well that was a good story for you today, Horace. Yeah, that really helped me, because Zacchaeus was nervous, but then things turned out okay. Yeah, how do you feel now? Well, I feel a lot calmer now, Anna. Yeah, you know, I think you're going to have a great time at the party. I'm actually looking forward to it now. Yeah, and always remember that God loves you, and God is with you wherever you go. Yay! Yeah, and children, you remember that too. Even if you're feeling excited and nervous at the same time, God loves you and God is with you wherever you go. Oh yeah! Yay! We've had a great time and we'll see you next time.